In this video, we can discuss about the production of insulin by recombinant DNA technology. Here, we will discuss the introduction to the penicillin, chemical structure and introduction to the diabetic mellitus and different method of production of insulin. So what is insulin? As we all know, insulin is an hormone which is produced by beta cells of islets of Langerhans of pancreas. And what is the function of insulin? Insulin is an anabolic hormone which will promote glucose uptake, utilization of glucose for the release of energy, glycogenesis, lipogenesis and protein synthesis of skeletal muscles and fat tissue through tyrosine kinase receptor pathway. Thereby, it will decrease the free blood glucose level. So, the insulin is used to decrease the blood glucose level in diabetic mellitus which is a condition in which there will be an increasing blood glucose levels, gl glucose level and it is also known as hyperglycemia. Now coming to what is the structure of the insulin. Insulin consists of 51 amino acid with 30 amino acid in chain B and 21 amino acid in chain B. A. So, there is two chains with 30 amino acid in chain B and 21 amino acid in chain A and the chain A and chain B is linked with the disulfate bond and the chain A is again joined by uh, in, uh, in sequence in by a disulfate bond. So, this is the structure of insulin. And this is very important because the gene for the, the separate chain B and chain A are synthesized and these genes are used for the production of recombinant DNA technology insulins. Now what is diabetic mellitus? Diabetic mellitus is a genetically linked disease which is characterized by increased blood glucose concentration or it is also known as hyperglycemia. And this may be due to the insufficient production of insulin or it may be inefficient insulin. That means even though is the if there a sufficient production of insulin, some insulin cannot be bind with the insulin receptor. So, the effect of insulin will not be there. So, uh, the diabetic mellitus may be by these two uh, problem. It may be due to the insufficient or inefficient insulin. And what will happen in the absence of insulin in the body? There will be a glucose accumulation in the bloodstream at higher concentration. Usually, the blood concentration if it exceeds uh, about 180 milligram per deciliter the glucose will start to excrete through the urine and the patient of diabetic are usually weak and tired since the production of energy is very very depressed and what is the importance of treatment of diabetic mellitus because if it is treated if it is not treated it may produce series of complication like kidney damage it is known as diabetic nephropathy, eye damage it is known as diabetic retinopathy, nerve damage it, uh, known as diabetic neuropathy and different circular, uh, circulatory diseases like atherosclerosis or stock. Now this diabetic mellitus is the third leading cause of death in developed countries. So this is the importance of production of insulin. And coming to the production of insulin, there are two methods. First one was isolation of insulin from the animal which was the previous or early conventional method. But there are many disadvantages. So, it is used nowadays. So, we are now using the uh, recombinant insulin by uh, which are produced by genetic engineering or RDNA, recombinant DNA technology. So, first method is isolation of insulin from animals. This was the method that we had used in early years. In this, 
Insulin was isolated and purified from the pancreas of pig and cow. And this insulin was used for the treatment of diabetic mellitus. But this is use, not used nowadays because of major two disadvantages. First one is there is a slight difference by one or two amino acid in the structure of animal insulin when compared with the human insulin. So, this difference may cause severe allergic reaction in some diabetic patient. And another problem is for the production of animal insulin, it requires large number of animals has to be sacrificed. For example, for the treatment of a single diabetic patient for one year, we have to sacrifice about 70 pigs. So, these are the major disadvantages. That is why we are not using this um, uh, insulin which are isolated from the animal uh, nowadays. So, we will uh, synthesize the recombinant insulin by recombinant DNA technology. And insulin was the first ever pharmaceutical product which is produced by recombinant DNA technology which is administered to the human. And it was the in uh, 1970s who the first attempt uh, was produced uh, to produce the insulin by recombinant DNA technology and it was in July 1980s the first attempt to uh, inject or administer uh, the recombinant insulin to 17 human volunteers uh, at London at Girls Hospital. And what is the basic principle of uh, production of recombinant insulin? It consists of inserting human insulin gene for gene A as well as gene B of insulin and and this is inserted into the promoter gene of lacoprone to the plasmid of E. coli. That is the basic technique for the production of recombinant insulin. Now coming to the steps of, for the production of recombinant insulin. First step is the synthesis or chemical synthesis of DNA sequence of chain A and B insulin genes. So here we will synthesize the gene of DN, gene DNA sequence of both chain A and B separately by chemical synthesis and the chemically synthesized DNA sequence is inserted by the side of beta galactosidase gene into two PBR322 plasmid which is a plasmid found in the E. coli. So, uh, this is inserted by using DNA leakage enzyme. So, we will get a recombinant plasmid which is containing beta galactosidase gene as well as the gene for chain A in one PBR322 plasmid and gene for chain B with beta galactosidase of uh, PBR322 plasmid in another one. And this recombinant plasmid are then separately transformed it into the E. coli by the different transformation reaction that we had discussed in the genetic engineering uh, step. Now the recombinant host, so after transformation uh, while culturing the E. coli in, in sufficient or in um, appropriate media, the recombinant host will produce pro-insulin chain which is fused with the beta galactosidase A chain and beta galactosidase B chain. So, we will get a uh, chain which is fused with the beta galactosidase chain enzyme. Now, we have to remove this beta galactosidase enzyme. So, in order to separate the chain A and B from the beta galactosidase, we will treat with cyanogen bromate. And this will lead to detachment of pro-insulin chain from the beta galactosidase and this is possible due to the uh, presence of an extra codon methionine was added and at the end terminal of each genes of A and B chains. So after detachment the chain A and B are joined in vitro to reconstitute the native insulin by sulfonating the peptide chain with the sodium disulfonate and sodium sulfate. So, this is the step for the production of recombinant insulin. So, we will insert the gene for chain A along with the beta galactosidase gene in lacoprone of an uh, E. coli 
plasmid PBR322 and chain B in separate uh, E. coli plasmid of PBR322 and this is, uh, ad, uh, is transformed into the E. coli and this E. coli is cultured in uh, separately in separate media and it will produce an chain which is combined with the beta galactosidase enzyme. So, in order to separate the beta galactosidase enzyme, we will treat with the cyanogen bromate. So, we will get separate chain A and separate B, chain B. And this chain B and chain A are joined by disulfate bond by sulfonating with uh, sodium disulfonate and sodium sulfate. So, this is the steps which is involved in the production of recombinant DNA uh, technology for the production of insulin. And these are some examples of uh, uh, recombinant insulin, hemulin, uh, which is an uh, recombinant DNA origin uh, human insulin IP uh, by the manufacturer Lilly. And uh, uh, this is another one human mixture which is a monocomponent human insulin biosynthetic with the recombinant DNA origin and this is another one example of uh, recombinant insulin in Suchen. So that is all about the production of insulin by recombinant DNA technology. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.